In this video, we are going to talk about the specificity and how the styles are applied. CSS applies the styles in the order they are written except when specificity of a selector is higher. To understand this, let's have a look at this example. We have a class 1 element, inside we have a class 2 and then a class 3 which says what is my background color. Let's write a CSS for this dot class 1 space dot class 3 background green dot class 2 space dot class 3 background blue the background color of class 3 element will be blue because the second selector will override the style of the previous selector important tip it does not matter whether the parent is immediate or higher in the hierarchy if two selectors have same number of classes then the specificity of both will be same confused Hang on for a minute. Let's have another example. Dot class one space dot class three background green. And the next one is dot class three background blue. Any guesses what will be the background color of class three element which is inside class one parent? It will be green. The reason is the specificity of the first selector is more than the second selector. Here is how we calculate it. We normally use tags, IDs, classes, attributes, pseudo classes and pseudo elements to write a selector. Every one of these has a fixed score that is added while calculating the specificity. Specificity is a four digit number A, B, C, D where A represents the inline style. If there is any inline style applied, its value will be 1. B is the total number of IDs used in selector. C is the count of classes, pseudo classes and attributes used in the selector. And D is the count of tags and pseudo elements. Let's take an example of a selector. div space hash one id space dot class one space dot class two and then in bracket we are going to write an attribute href is equal to www.google.com Let's calculate the specificity of the selector. Inline styles are always written in HTML, so in this case the value of A will be 0. There is one ID in the selector, hence value of B will be 1. Further, there are two classes and one attribute, which means C is 3. Finally, only one tag means value of D is 1. So the score of the selector is 0, 1, 3, 1. If there is an inline style, it will not be easily possible for you to overwrite it using external or internal CSS files because of its high specificity. Bigger the score, more is the priority of a selector. It does not matter where the occurrence of an ID or a class is in the selector. The selectors like star, greater than symbol, plus do not contribute to the specificity. These selectors only make the selection more specific. Important tip. There is a provision of using not important with the style to override the inline styles. But this is another bad approach to override one bad approach. That's it from this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about margins. Thanks for watching. If you have learned something, please subscribe.